it took us just 90 days to get our first 365 quail eggs. All right, let's see what you got for us today. They're consistent and they're typically done laying by 7 p.m. Now think about getting all of this daily and we should still have four more of them to lay today. And we're just getting started. Guten yarning, everybody. You know, the winter time, I would say, especially here in zone five, Wisconsin, is typically a time of reduced production. We have an indoor growing space for our garden in here, but it doesn't really compare to the size of what we have going on outside. So we expect that reduction in production, which is why we spend so much time growing vegetables outdoors to prepare for the winter. You know, we wanna make sure we have plenty to store. Well, while that's true for our vegetables, one area where we saw continuous excellent production was with our new venture into raising quail. And as I said in the outset of this video, it took just 90 days from the arrival of our first Japanese quail, our Coternix quail teens from my Shire farm, from that first day to get to 365 eggs of production. And that's with a relatively small sized covey. Now what we've done is we've tried to track our progress along the way. And for those of you who are new to our channel or new to what we're doing, we are not claiming in any way to be experts at growing quail, but what we are doing is we are monitoring and recording our progress and the process along the way as we learn a lot about raising quail and as we have replaced our entire production of eggs completely. In fact, I still remember the exact moment I filmed this clip. Well, this moment when we're out of the last of our organic eggs from the store marks the moment where we transition to only eating our quail eggs. Now at the time I recorded that, I can't say I was 100% convinced that this was the be all end all for buying our chicken eggs, but I can tell you with absolute certainty, we don't have to buy any more eggs. And I am so thrilled by that, especially considering the size of our covey has more than tripled now since we started with those first 10 teens. Now, a lot of that is happening in the recent weeks, and so we don't have hens that are quite to egg laying age yet, but that's coming. We'll have updates on that coming for you. And if you haven't done so already, you can check out our website, gutenyardening.com. And on that website, in addition to taking a look at some of our videos about gardening, you can also track our progress with our quails. You can follow that journey with us. From my point of view, it's nice to have somebody going through this who's not an expert because you can see some of the ways that we are trying to make this fit our exact space. We're trying to make sure that we can save money, do this in a cost-effective way, but also we want to have a setup that works. And this has been a fantastic learning process for us for sure. It's kind of interesting to figure out how much you don't know. I guess you could say you don't know how much you don't know until you know enough to know what you don't know, if that makes sense. And our process has definitely been one of learning. We've had to refine our watering systems. We've had to refine the feeding mechanisms that we're using with our upcycle bottles and containers. We've also had to upgrade our cages. In fact, our first video about the quail upon their arrival, we just put them in a small cage that we had that we had kept our guinea pigs in. Well, clearly that wasn't big enough. But since then, we've invested in a bunch of dog kennel carriers that we use still to this point. And we bought our first cage from Winola Ranch, which is one that is made specifically for quail. And something you don't know about yet, we started making our own cages. But that's for a different video because the focus of this video is just on how amazing it is to get 11 eggs a day, to be able to say that within 90 days, and that 90 days includes the initial period where they weren't old enough yet to lay eggs, and a small window in there where they stop producing for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. But if you take a look at the chart that we have here, look at that consistency in production from these ladies. This is a daily, during the winter, when temperatures outside have been as low as 10, 15 degrees Fahrenheit below zero, these birds have been in our garage, they have been producing daily. They've been producing when we've had to go out and change the ice out of the water twice a day. They've been laying eggs. And again, look at the consistency. Every single day, we're typically getting 10 or 11 out of our 11 hens. And I want you to think about it this way. 
what would you need to do for your family to replace the eggs that you're buying from the store? Where we live, chickens are not really plausible for us. Why? Because we'd have to have a maximum of four hens. We couldn't have any roosters. It's really expensive, very cost prohibitive to, for us. The space that's needed is just not possible where we live. And so quail was the best option that we could find. And what we're seeing meted out to us is exactly that. The quail are coming through. They are producing the eggs. Last Sunday morning, we had scrambled quail eggs. It took two dozen for our family of four to have plenty to eat. So two dozen, that's basically two days worth of production. Now think about what that production means for us as our covey continues to grow and as we continue to get more eggs from them on the daily basis. And on top of all that, we've also been able to share some of our eggs with other community members, which has been really exciting for us as well. And we've gotten some feedback from those individuals too, telling us what they think about the taste. And I know this might seem a little bit strange, but I've definitely heard this when it comes to growing vegetables. People grow their own broccoli, for example, and then they find out just how many critters like to hang out in the broccoli. And some people get a little turned off by the fact that there's insect life. There's, there's life around that that you have to deal with. Well, same thing with eggs. It might be a little strange to you to gather the egg out, to wash the egg off, to prepare it that way. It may seem a little bit different. I don't want to say off-putting, but it's a definitely a different experience. But the taste is very comparable to chicken eggs. And the taste, I think, from what we've heard, even from other people giving us feedback, is spot on and something that's an exceptional replacement for chicken eggs. I hope I'm getting my excitement about this process across to you because 365 eggs is a pretty big milestone. That's like one a day, right? But we did it in 90 days. And now because our hens are laying consistently, we're going to exponentially grow that number. In fact, if you look at our chart from today, that number is well over 400. And it's just been a couple days since that milestone of 90 days. And we're going to keep that going. And we want to encourage you to consider this as a possible alternative. Remember, we're growing these Japanese quail in our garage. And when the weather warms up outside, who knows? We may even put them outdoors and let them enjoy that as well. It's a fantastic process. It's a wonderful learning process. We want to invite you to continue on with this journey. We have a lot more to share. We're learning a lot. We want to share our knowledge that we've gained so far, and we want to keep this process going and keep learning as we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. It is almost a gathering time here. So I'm going to get out there and check and see what our ladies are doing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like. Leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.